Live from Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Croxham Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Hexon Oilers take on the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, how scary was it? I don't hear an old fellow. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, with the brutal hit! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and rough. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Hot one. Nobody can touch him with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. <laughs> Nicely done with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Third down and three. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. 
First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interesting. Boom! Second down and four. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. trying to fuck a grease football. He, he picks up five on that play. Second down and five. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and nine. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And that'll be second and eight to go. Send a message with that. Holy mother of blown up mutants right in his face. Mm, actually, my been improving. That guy was ugly. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores. <laughs> Final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first. 
First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. That's a six yard gain. And that'll bring up third down and in inches. for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. Yep. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Third down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a gun. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Yeah. 
Third down and a pussy. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah. And it's first and ten. The defense called it a sticky ball, dirty trick. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Second down in a mile. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And Dane, it's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. The kick is good. As expected. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, man. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Ballsy, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. He is fighting for every yard. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Right, looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and six. <laughs> And he laterals the ball, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, great 
big play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he refuses, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, my God, that fellow has a lot of a stubborn heart. Tell us all. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And it's first and ten. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. <laughs> Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else comes He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Nice deflection. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, nice hit. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Yeah. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. They are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game isn't as close as the score indicates. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. 
the 30, the 20. He's running out of gas now. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peeing in the ashes and the smoldering remains. Ah, oh, you are truly a master poet, Grim. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a... Fr oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like... The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Second down and two. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what an interception. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance is to... And the QB evades an onslaught of defenders and lives to die another day. That was a great movie. You're time for time. I only be And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because it'll be pitch another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. But somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks. quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. First down and nine. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second and three. Another pick. He's, oh, and he just. Oh man, he just went off.
off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. He's going long with the pass. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm -hmm. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> and it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. First down. He was not going to drop that one. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. With just about everyone on the roster dead, the Cracksome Skull Jugulars lose by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.